All right, so basically when you first turn your NAS on with the disks inside and it kind of starts up, uh, you will get a sign in and you will sign into here. Uh, this is the operating system, the firmware uh, of your Synology disk station. And basically you get widgets on the right. Uh, you can configure your widgets. There's about eight of them or seven or eight of them that you can configure in each of these four boxes that will tell you like the health, what the activity, the CPU and RAM usage. Uh, uh, it'll give you a log and things like that. So you can also minimize that. Then here, this is like a ex expose look uh, of all open windows. You have a universal search and you have some options where you can change wallpapers and log out and things like that. There's also notifications here uh, that will pop up uh, anytime something major happens or minor or whatever uh, you have it set up for. Uh, you have a disk station uh, manager wizard and if you click and start you will be able to click on a couple of things just some key things to get you rolling on your disk station. You can set up users, groups, uh, you can set up your administrator, you can do share folders uh, you move on and you, you basically get this start up so that you can set it up so that it shows up in your Finder or Windows Explorer uh, on your Mac or PC. And then also you can open up File Station, which is like the Windows Explorer and Finder on a Mac and PC. Uh, you can install some key apps, uh, and I'll show you that when we get to this package center here. When you have Package Center and you install apps, they create folders in your file station or your Windows Explorer. Uh, and I'll show you more of that when we open up File Station. Then you could set up the cloud. This is like a Dropbox option uh, where you can share files between your Mac, Windows, uh, iPad, iPhone, um, iOS, and Android apps. And then you have a great great which is one of the best features of the Synology disk stations uh, in this software the version disk station 4.3 is the ability to walk you so easily over your router configuration and over your firewall and how to get all your media media on the internet to access anywhere uh, it is greatly implemented uh, with this firmware better than I've ever seen. Uh, it will open up next time we open it. So now here we have a start button. It's sort of like the Windows start button and it has all our default apps aside from download station, photo station, video station, and audio station in which I downloaded those from the store, which brings us to the store. Here's the package center. There's basically no sign in. Uh, I installed these four apps and in turn it created sort of a folder for me where I have music photos and videos and I also created a download folder for download station uh, they call it station they should just call it download or audio app or whatever but they call it station and this is a great way you take all your music folder music files you put them in there all of your photos you throw it in that folder um, then you take all of your videos and you could put them all in the video folder and it is just a great way uh, to have all of your media and once you start sharing this and you're setting up everything it will work uh, pretty pretty flawlessly um, there's other apps that you can install that will help you let me just give you a brief look of all the apps they have currently available as of February 2014. Now, don't forget, there's Disk Station Manager 5.0, which brings a lot to the table. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't seen it all, but I've heard so much good stuff, and you're gonna be able to see it here on this YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, um, because you're gonna be able to compare this 4.3 to the 5.0 when I install it. Uh, I'm not going to get too crazy into this because my videos will run 20, 30 minutes and I don't want to go into that. Let me just show you one more thing and just give you an example of how great uh, and easy they, they've made it 
with their firmware. So you have all of this. Uh, these are all things that are going to help you with your router and your firewall and to get yourself connected. Uh, look at this quick connect. Uh, if you select these folders, you'll get a quick ID and you basically just throw the ID, sign in, and you're off and running, uh, whether it's on a Mac, Windows, iOS, or Android. Uh, what else do we have? We have like, uh, you could set up a VPN. Uh, you have Bluetooth dongle, you know, Wi-Fi dongle. Uh, you could set up, you know, settings. You get into web services. You can host your own web page. Uh, FTP, DAV. Uh, it, it's just amazing all the stuff they packed into this. Uh, you know, in mind that you can create your own folders to get it, your finder to look, uh, your file station to look exactly the way you want it not have those pre uh, folders like in other NASs uh, which you wish you could delete and it won't let you so you can get this to look the way you want you can get it to act the way you want and they just make it so easy walking you hand in hand um, you have to check it out for yourself they have a live demo that you can sign in um, there is so many things that you can do and customize and I can't wait to show you 5.0. I can't wait to get 5.0 because I know with just looking at 4.3, the 5.0 is going to be nuts. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I just wanted to give you a look of it before I get rid of it and go to 5.0. Uh, and then you can get an idea of when you buy your Synology this station, what it entails and what it has. Uh, you know, compare this to other distations, and you're going to see. You're not going to find a better looking, better acting distation. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.